All right, so I'm back doing this with um, this. Apparently OBS just crashes when USB devices are unplugged. Um, I don't know if it was because I unplugged the, just the mouse or the camera, but I noticed both were unplugged after a bit. So it might have been I just unplugged the camera and it died. So yeah, anyway, good now. Um, I'm going to Sports spare parts. See, because my mouse is unplugged, I'm using my Wacom tablet as a mouse. It's a very good tablet. It served me well. But I still can't find where I... I just had it up. I just had it up, and now it's gone. Oh, well. Who cares? We'll see it once we're inside. So, several parts are immediately removable. The um, interchangeable grip. So mine's a little dirty. Still, cleaned it off when I did the replacement. It's tricky again. What is this? Did I scratch it? That is definitely a gouge in the plastic. Well. Okay, so about like three inches from the monitor. That's good enough. Alright, so that side. We have the uh da -da -da -da. weight thing. It's gonna go over there as well. Nothing else tears down. There's the obvious hyper scrolling button which has a really um, really nice little mechanism to accomplish this uh, toggle functionality and I'm really uh, I'm really impressed at the uh, at just the way this mouse functions I mean, yeah okay so let's get to it see I don't have any feet that's because this cable said it came with feet, and it didn't come with feet. And then he refunded me two dollars because oh, I was wrong. That should have been on the description. Well, thanks, bud. So now I have to pay someone else from China and wait another month for the feet for my mouse that I wanted at the beginning of January. One, two, three. One, two, three, and four screws on the outside. And that is actually all that's keeping the top on. Our next, uh, our next thing to take off. This little, these little tabs. 
this one little ribbon cable. You can pull both sides of this little dark gray thing, and it just pops right off. It doesn't even pop, it just falls off once you pull up on on this gray tab. Pull up on that, and the top just falls off. So, I'm going to make a note on my trusty board of the light sensor S9500. I use to prop this up? Nothing. Nothing. Oh well. I guess you could like Signs point to no, no autofocus. Well, Next thing is taking that mechanism off that I mentioned earlier. Oop, there's a hair. This thing is still filled with cat hair. I cleaned it out as best I could. I owned a cat more than two years ago. Uh, about two years ago now. And it's still filled with cat hair, which is amazing. 
So first things first, this little um, this little U-shaped piece of plastic is coming off. There's one side. This in the other corner. Even though they're all different size, so if I can't figure out what screw goes where at the end of this. Well, that just won't happen because they're all different sizes and the smallest ones go on the board. The medium ones that I'm on now go in the mechanism. And the largest ones go in the base for the body. There are several more which I'm not going to uh, take apart for us today, forever. There we go. Very important, there's this little black piece of plastic that you don't want to lose. What it's for is goes in there and allows this to rock scroll left and scroll right, which hit the two yellow switches right here. Very tactile, very nice. And yeah, I was right. These are two mouse switches that are Omron. The left click is a little more solid than the right click. That's odd. Just pushing them like this. Maybe I broke something. Maybe, uh, or maybe, maybe it's designed that way. And I'm just not appreciating what kind of engineering decisions went into this mouse. But it is um, inconsistent, which bothers me. There we go. My, uh, my screen is going to sleep, so I can see what I'm doing. All right, that comes off. So here. Our little mechanism, and because it's an auto focus isn't working, whatever. So there's this piece which rocks back and forth. You'll be able to see that very slightly. when the button is pressed in from the bottom, it uh, pushes this up. You see the little spring there? This is pushed up. The metal part is pushed away from the grooves. And instead of doing this, it spins freely. And inside this, this shaft is a little almost uh, clicker pen type assembly, which I'll give us a closer look to in a second. Very important that this spring is not lost, because without this spring, there is nothing Well, it's um, the this action will be less less inclined to function the way it's function. It'll function like th this this piece here will have less inclination to get out of the way when the metal part is trying to go back and forth, which is bad, I guess, I don't know, I was also wrong about the number of screws. There are these two screws, which are kind of wide mediums, 
but anyway, they only fit in the one spot. So I'll have no, no problem with, uh, with those later. All right. Should probably check Twitch chat. Maybe someone's actually watching me. Flounder around. Do, 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 do. No. No one is watching me. Oh well. spring out of the way. This can just kind of pop off. Kind of both sides at once need to go because the way this is done, annoying as balls. So Vicky. Oh you didn't hear. Um this year is going to be Stan Lee's last Fan Expo appearance. How do you feel about that? Are you about? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Oh. You don't know? You don't care? He is pretty old. Like, he almost had that heart attack the one time. <laughs> well. toothed thing pops in like this and they spin backwards and back and forth while they're inside this shaft to go up and down and push this like this and the metal piece forward away from the wheel it toggles in an up or a down position ingenious okay I have to get this back on Slightly, slightly more difficult than taking it off. Even taking it off is kind of difficult. Oh, there we go. Now I'll grab that spring. Put it into there. And like the scariest dream. Oh yeah, what was your dream about? Like, we were in my old house in Brampton, and it was me, Xander, I'm recording right now, so don't say anything you don't want, like, okay. to get it on the internet. It was me, Xander, and Dad, like, walking through our backyard, and for whatever reason, I, it was all, like, foresty, and, like, I don't know, leaves and shit were just growing up. Like, it looked like leaves and shit? It That's like foresty to you. It forest in, like, our backyard. A tropical forest. Yeah. Wow. Like, like rainforest shit in our backyard. Cool. And uh like that um primitive technology guy? What? You know, the guy that makes like stuff out of um mud and clay and he made like the kiln and like all the other stuff and I'm like fascinated by his YouTube channel. Okay. And then Xander 
bumped into me, and I fell to the side. But as I was falling, I looked over and I turned. There was this huge ass, like, spider web that was sort of like in this hammock style type of thing. And I fell into it, and I was trapped in it for the longest time, and like trying to get out, and finally Cassandra Dad pulled me out. Oh, good. But then I was covered in all of these tiny fucking spiders everywhere. I like was getting bitten and shit, and I was just like screaming and screaming, and then I woke up. Man, that sucks. You gotta get better dreams, bro. Are you okay? Is it a terrible dream? A terrible dream? Terrible. Okay, we have the... Get this back together. So we can take this out further. One right here. Now all of this is necessary to um, to take the cable out, which is a pain in the ass because you see how it goes underneath the PCB here. If you try and lift it out, you'll catch the corner of the PCB. There's not enough clearance in between there and there to actually like replace it without taking the board off, which is by design, not by design, who knows. I'm very, my, my Phillips head is almost too large for these tiniest screws, so I'm very worried about stripping them. Because if I did that, after I fixed it, put it together and it was working, and I just took it apart, to film taking it apart, that would upset me very much. So, there's the two Omron switches, they appear, oh, they appear to have different numbers on them, that is ingenious. Okay, so I'm going to put down, oh, maybe that top number is a serial number, seven, okay, so right click, Zero one Y B R N four. Zero one Y eight R N four. One B eight. And B two. FC dash seven sorry, dash F dash seven seven N ten M. Okay, and the left click. 21 X 8 R N 8 21 X 8 R N Pretty regular 21 X 8 0 1 Y 8 Run four, run eight. Seems like maybe date and year and hex and a run number 
or something. Anyway, that can all be determined at a later time, which is what we'll do. Okay, so. Here it is. It's plugged in. Should be more like together, I guess. I don't know what the attenuation is, even if that's the right word. Middle click, left click, right click, left scroll, right scroll, and this little <laughs> infrared laser scroll sensor, which is pretty rad in and of itself. And in the back, we have the profile button and the light sensor. Sensor. Light entrance thing. Focus. Lens. Is that the right word? Lens. It's a lens. Okay, now let's get this back together. Same thing, but backwards. I'm going to not explain all this crap as I'm doing it because screw you guys if you didn't get it the first time just rewind and pretend you're watching it in reverse because there's just empty space next to that. Am I right? Yeah, that's just empty space. Yeah, it'll get switched down anyway, if it's not. If I'm wrong, but I'm not wrong. It's empty space. Okay. forgot about how difficult this was. I regret this. Oh, I should uh, take down info on the uh, visible, other visible serial numbers. Like this chip right here, which is actually, yep, entirely legible. We already got down the image sensor, fantastic. Scope UGS main, part number 210. Zero 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 yeah four three one very well labeled PCB resistor four resistor twenty one C twenty five resistor four four forty six four seven amazing all in little stacks. Just a fascinating little piece of hardware. HD 3.94 volts. Cool. So 
such a nice little bit of hardware. It served me very well. This past couple of years, I'm glad that I was able to repair it. Careful not to scratch the PCB. Because it might not come back. If I fuck up now, maybe all for naught. And I definitely have proof that it was working. You could see on the other video, the one that I, uh, that I, that crashed, I was, uh, moving the mouse around, and, oh, no, wait, I didn't do that. I did that with a previous one, a test one, but I didn't move the video around the canvas on This is rather hard to kind of jigger onto there, but as long as this front screw is in, the rest will fall into line. regretting using a magnetic screwdriver because this is actually more difficult than it has to be because the magnet the magnet is pulling the screw around. Okay. The magnet's pulling the screw around as I try and keep it still. Recap so far, one, two, and three on the board. One, two, three on the scroll mechanism. You see it functions just as I described earlier. You push this button, it's like a pen, holds it up, doesn't hold it up, holds it up, doesn't hold it up. When it's holding it up, it spins freely, beautiful. I just love this mechanism, man. And the, uh, the little perforations inside that wheel. Either block or don't block. Uh, or do some interference, do thing, some sort of interference. I don't know if it's uh, aperture related. But it could be. This could be aperture science in my mouse. That would make me happy. Um, but it could just be it's sensing the on and off. However many on off clicks there are, that's a certain number of lines that is scrolled. Or not. Who knows? Alright, now let's get back to this. I'm not going to take this apart. Well, I could. There are four buttons in there. Actually, this is a pretty substantial piece of the, the mouse. So, I think I will take this apart for you. Even though there's nothing wrong with it. We have one, two, three, and four. On the underside of the top assembly. All of these parts, I believe, are on the same ribbon cable or attached to a chip 
which brings them out to the different uh, the different buttons on the top assembly of the mouse. Okay, get rid of that one. Four. Now let's oh, I see, as this retention plate. Just snaps in. I gotta be careful. This is nerve wracking. Maybe it just like swings out. I don't know how this is supposed to go in or not. Oh, I see. No, no, let me see. That's just, uh, that's not a real part of the assembly. It's just uh, the two buttons kind of swing freely and they're on a separate piece of plastic than the body. So that's not so bad. All right. These buttons, just like the left and um, right scroll bump. They are less, they're just cheap, cheapo PCB pressure buttons, they're not actual switches. Okay. Oh, here's the uh, Weight, yeah, these, this is for the weights. It's a self-contained clicking assembly, which grabs onto the one, the little bump at the side. Careful with that. I think this is the last plate, and this will yield the rest of the switches. We'll see in a sec. Yep, there's the... Oh, wow. That's the uh, left mouse button. This thing's like the Terminator. Fuck. Let's take pieces off. And they just keep coming. <laughs> Man, I'm clever. So fucking happy with that. Sweet reference Terminator. This is a good mouse. Is it Cyberdyne good? Probably. So cute. <laughs> Four little LEDs and a little bumpy man and three little bumpy things. So adorable. And this is as far as I'm taking it off because you can clearly see all the stuff. All of these. Huh. I don't 
don't know what this this is going for. Is it just ground? It doesn't appear to be going to anything. So it's probably just ground. Why that would be there, I have no idea. Instead of somewhere more useful. But if it goes nowhere, it goes nowhere. Maybe there's some secret hidden functionality that you can tap into via that wire. DARPA launch codes. Probably that. That'd be my guess. And now we take the top assembly, put it back together. How am I doing? 40 minutes of me fucking with my mouse. Who's the sucker now? Me, who did this for literally no reason? Or you, who may still be watching this? You know what, I shouldn't say that. Because probably one of my friends like Steve is going to watch this. In fact, I'll tell him to watch this. And then. At the end of it, he's going to punch me in the arm and say, So, I'm a sucker, am I? Say, yeah, man, you are. And we'll both laugh. You know it's more likely Steve isn't going to get anywhere near this far. He's going to be like, man, that's really boring. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. Once he starts on the, oh, fuck. <sighs> and I'm going to be like, oh, no, man, just like leave it on the background. And then he's going to get here. Probably gonna ask me if he's that predictable, and I'm like, no, Steve, I just, I just know the kind of guy you are. And like, I was being honest with myself. And this is the kind of reaction I'm expecting. If I don't get it, well, I've been making fun of you. Oh fuck! I knew I forgot something. Put this back where it needed to go. Fuck me. I didn't swear until now. Oh, this was such a good thing. I'm not going to bleep it out. Screw you guys. I don't need a G rating on this video. Well, I guess I could. No, it wouldn't be G. It'd be PG. Because you get one use of fuck. Ah, it's not PG anymore. How upsetting. I really wish I could look up stuff. There we go. Gotta make sure it's open, because if it's closed, when I put it in there, and I try and open it later, or do anything with it, I'll have to, like, shimmy something inside of it. To do even the simplest thing. It'll be terrible. Terrible for everyone.
that actually doesn't snap together, it just slides together if you do it right. It's amazing. So impressed with the build quality of my mouse. I wonder if I take apart a more modern mouse, if it'll be the same way. Or it might be worse. And, oh, is this the right one? Is that just not down? Oh, 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 yeah, no, it's not down all the way. Well, I was wrong, it does snap together. But I'm still wondering if I take apart, like, What's a new good mouse? Nice Tech Tips has reviewed a few. Or like mentioned a few. There was that Rocat giveaway. Yeah. Those weren't like premium solid mice. They were like $60 mouse. Not so impressive. Maybe the, uh, I take apart the Mad Cat's completely customizable mouse. But I probably end up raging about how not customizable it is. Alright, so in there. You see there's a little white line. white line and it needs to be flush with the beige part when you push the brown clip back in or it won't do its thing Sounds like Pam and Dwight. No, it's just a commercial. An office-y commercial, which is hilarious. Okay. Almost all the way back together. Stupid guy. Didn't include the mouse feet like was stated in the title of the item. Like, if it's a kit, it's not just a cable. But he has it listed as a kit. That's like multiple levels of fucking up. Because, like, he listed a single item as a kit. And then he listed that it specifically came with mouse feet, which is why I trusted it. It specifically came with mouse feet. Pretty sure I could get like a, a full item refund. Item not as described. But he did offer to refund me $2 and he did fix it before uh, I asked him to fix it, which is amazing as well. So, like, maybe this guy scams dollars out of people at a time, or something, and he only, like, I don't know, makes good on it when he's caught, or people mention it. There we go. You see, it doesn't come out, because that thing that I forgot to put in and then put back in, so amazing. I love this one. Together. Uh, 
and it's beautiful and I'm not going to plug it in until I'm done with the video because I don't know if that's going to make this crash because I'm really not familiar with this software. There we go. I'm going to look up these serial numbers that I found in the mouse and figure out what they are. Okay, so the first one, 59500B09 28TC. First one's first. See where this pops up. Nothing. Zero nine two eight. Some Russian pages. Overclockers. Ru. Maybe someone else. Matriculas. Pages. I'm going to translate that page because I don't know any Spanish. Tuition old. This query displays the number of plates of motor vehicles established, but that's not. That's not. But, uh. Okay. Five hundred. Let's try that. Fifty-nine five hundred. There's a lot of things. Okay. You know what? I don't even know what it is. Advanced systems on chip designs. Image. ECE. Zero, zero, zero. School, Indiana School of Engineering. Interesting. It's an FPGA. It's referenced in FPGA course syllabus. Starting the switches. One, zero one, five, eight, R, N, four.
to Switch, Omron micro switch. The best main model of micro switch. What does this even mean? I don't know. I don't know what any of this means. What are you doing? Five million clicks life cycle with no load, manufacturing China. Huge OF and RF range. 3M is cost down version of a three million click life cycle. I see. So 10M means it's a 10 million click life cycle. D2FC F7M. Handy. That's a lot of internet porn. Well, I think it's done. Success. Cool. Uh, wait a bit. How about I just? Hey Vicky, bring back the alcohol. Please. Oh, please, thank you. I appreciate it. Beautiful little thing. It's getting kind of warm around the edges. But I love the same. It's my mouse. There are probably a few like it still. This one's mine. Okay, I'm done.